Shot 3D action at Harris Haven Funeral Home, Iowa. <laughs> Store Smith with Store Designs. We are here at Harris Haven throwing down. It was a small 3D maze to complete, so we're getting her going. So, uh, hey, enjoy the transitions, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. We head to uh, Texas after this. You take care. Of course, we sat there and put orange down for the facade. I wanted to really make sure that that stood out beyond all the graveyard stuff. Uh, but we've started by putting um, blue as a background. And then we'll come along with some green after we do some silhouetted tombstones and trees and nasty roots and all sorts of stuff. Uh, we uh, made sure each layer dried well. And uh, here we are with some of the silhouettes. And uh, even though the building was, was quite warm, it took a while for each layer to dry. And this just creates such a cool uh, vibe, especially when you start spraying the green over the top and make it look like they're in the distance. And then you're adding other trees and other tombstones in front of it. Um, that just creates the illusion of, of distance. Uh, that uh, with the 3D glasses gets really, really set up. We even got trees going up to the facade and making it where it's all part of it. See, we got the ones in front. You can see the ones in the back. And just, uh, uh, just a, a shoot of paint over the top of it really helps with the illusion of distance and, and thickness. Um, Later on, we came along with a small airbrush and added in grass and, and little branches and stuff like that. And then, and then um, soon, we're coming in to where we sit there and put in our ghosts. And we did that in reds and oranges. And that will sit there and make it, you know, the 3D just pop. And then we're going to be bringing that down on the floor as well. And that really helps with the illusion. So those pictures will be coming up soon. The last room you'll see, we go to the bad boy right out. All sorts of things. Here we are detailing the uh, facade. And it is the only hard image that's going to be in the maze. But I think it really stands out. Um, and the rest of the maze is very ethereal. Very spooky. Um, and when Gary puts on, you know, proper music and sound effects and stuff. This building really carries a real nice tune um, and uh, he should have a great response from his customer base uh, with with the visuals and then the sound effects, possible actors. He actually could run this thing without actors at all, but if he chooses to have actors, that's, you know, rock on, he can do that. And uh, we'll be able to sit there and have a real nice product for him. Now doing the highlights on the trees in front and the ghosts around just creates such a cool atmosphere. Um, you got the, the creepy side, you got, you know, just uh, with the 3D glasses going by, they look like they're, they're pivoting towards you. And uh, pretty soon we're gonna have some imagery up where the floor is painted black last night. About six o'clock, we painted the floors black, let them dry all night long so we can do some awesome stuff on the floor. But this just turned out so nice. Uh, Gary is getting more black lights. We have certain ones up right now, and then uh, more are coming to really set it up. This is the last room with all the cool ghosts and eyes and nasties. And this is the last thing the customers will see, so we're gonna make sure that the floor is corresponding with that. And it, it just has such a punch, especially when you make sure 
you keep some of the black. The black is the contrast. So FYI, don't color the entire thing. Even in these areas, having that black there with the colors really makes things pop. So when you're working on your project, make sure you just don't go crazy with colors everywhere. You gotta make sure you have some of that black to create that contrast. And that's where you're really gonna get the spark. Um, the colors are cool, but that black really helps everything pop out. So FYI, so we're gonna get going on the floors here soon. I'm gonna show you a video of it without anything on the floor but black and shows how well the, the, the walls pop when you don't have all that UV dust and nasty on the bottom. So let's get that going. Okay, wow. This turned out great. We really put a nice thick coat of black on here, but I mean, look at that with the floors black. Really punches things out. We're gonna need some more black lights in here, but this really turns out nice with the floor all taken care of. She's all dry, ready to rock. And it really makes a difference. And we're gonna come in and do some cool stuff on there. Again, we don't wanna to touch everything. We wanna have some contrast. So, but uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be sharp. And, uh, Yep, yep, this is, this is good. And uh, even with the facade, boom. You come right down. You guys remember the picture from the previous part of the video. You see all that overspray and all the dust and stuff. Man, I had to do some major sweeping to get that stuff out of here, but she is ready to go now. And we're gonna have some fun. So onwards and upwards, people, let's get that floor going. Okay, so we got the floors completed. Of course, reds come forward. Green sit in the middle, blues recede. So that's gonna be awesome for the customers, along with the walls. Oh yeah. Then we switched up to a little orange in this one, rather than just uh, red. side of the video please watch the end helps me out and have any questions concerns give me a holler thanks people take care